All right. <clears throat> if you're running the operating system iOS 4.0 or greater, and you'll see some of the striking changes in the iPad. Uh, the first thing is over here. What used to be the the accelerometer, the landscape um, or portrait mode. It's right above the volume button. If you click it, <laughs> I have it in this end case right now. Okay, sorry. If you Sorry. See if I can prop the camera like this. Put my power back on here. Because Victoria's been running this thing to death. Okay. This device right here. You notice going back and forth. You notice that when I go down with it right now it opens up the volume thing if I go down with it it mutes it go up with it <clears throat> unmutes it now what's so interesting about that once you do that then take your double finger your finger and double tap your home button And what you'll see happen is all of your icons, see I touched it and brought it back, double tap, all of your icons are gone, and you're left with your home picture now. There's no icons on there whatsoever. They're down here at the bottom, okay? And you also have down here, you have like, this is a volume player, okay, as well as um, a brightening control, which will allow you to brighten or darken the screen. Here, we'll leave it like that since I'm filming. All right. Um, this is your volume. And this is a little tap to go into your iPod. All right. It's so like if we wanted to go in here real quick. And we don't want to listen to Big Time Rush. So we will come out of there and we'll scroll down to something else. Um, don't want to listen to that one. Sleeves. We've got one with sleeves. We'll use that as background music. Sherwin sleeves. Okay. Now we can go back. And again, double tap. We've lost all that. We have this down here. And, of course, like I said, now I can control the volume like that. All right? I'm walking down our little dirt road headed for the, now, headed for the woods. We're going to find something else. Um, sleeves is good. Not a lot, just, but, uh, just where I'm walking. I want some music, actually. Actually, no music will be better. Okay, now if you'll notice on the top of the iPad, um, the next step we need to learn is, how did these folders get created? And I, it took me a long time to figure out how to create folders. All right? One tap, close it. All right, again, make sure that you're in the up position and no red is showing um, on your, your, your button over there. Uh, I created a bunch of these folders the other day. Um, so I took one folder, emptied it all out. It's on the next screen here. <laughs> Sorry. And this will explain to you, I'm going to do it graphically, I'm going to show you how you make a folder like that. Okay? So, let's start with 
tweet deck. Tweet deck is right next to do a long hold on all of these. Now this is like as if I was going to delete it. But we don't want to delete it. So I'm going to drag it right over here. I'm going to put it on top of Facebook. Ah, and it just made a folder. And it's shown me the results of that folder. Uh, also, it says social. All right. So, again, these are the, the applications that... Now, what I don't like is that it's zipping itself back to the top, the very first screen that I have. No, oh, I take that back. It didn't. Gotta look down below. All right. From here on out, each one of these, all right, Urban Spoon. I'm going to take it, drop it in there. All right, and then top on the outside, tap on the outside edge of that. My Skype. Take it, drop it in the folder, let my finger go, tap on the outside edge so I can come back. Um, these are other Twitter apps, drop it in, drop it in there. <laughs> yeah. All right, drop it in there. Uh, Flipboard, very good application. Get it dropped in there. Now you notice that some, somehow I'm able to get them dropped in there without the folder thing opening up like it's doing here. Let's just tap the outside edge of that. Um, see, I didn't have the folder opening up and showing itself. So, but I'm showing you how to escape out of that. I think it has to do if you hold it in there too long then it's going to open up like it did here. So again, just tap the outside edge. Um, take this, drop it in. Posteris link, Posteris app. Drop it in. Tap the outside edge. And the last one, the B-Jive, tap it in. All right, now, you have a whole empty screen right here. The goal is to get them over to here. You can't hold it and then just drag it across. But what I did was, you're allowed up to six icons, okay? Now, when you're going to do this and you're cleaning your iPad up, you want to make sure that you keep this relatively free of everything down here because what we're going to do is we're going to take this drag it down put it right there in the middle uh, ultimately at some point the iPad will resolve itself and say well I don't have anything on screen 4 I don't have anything on screen 3 and so it's going to just chop off one of those blocks Screen 2, this is where you're at. Now take it and just move it back up in there. Everything is still wiggling. If you've noticed, hit your home key. Hit your home key twice. Alright, hit your home key twice. It does a bounce up and down. <laughs> And then if you notice, how many dots, how many screens does it show? I've just got two now. I've got this. And I've got nothing over here. This one. Ugh. Why well, won't we go to the last one? Oh, the last one is the the keyboard in case I hit the keyboard. I'm also in a swipe mode too right now. Okay. It, for some reason, actually, I've got two screens now. That's the way I should have it. All right.
I can go here to bring up the keyboard. Bam, that's all I've got. Now, if I want to go to the right, I'm going to create another screen. And I'm not. See? It's not going to let me. All right. So the, the iPad has cleaned itself up. It has cleaned itself up from any and unnecessary icons. Now, if you'll notice, I have two reference folders on here. Um, one education, one entertainment. They they go ahead based upon the applications. When you place them in there, they're going to self-label themselves. But in the case of having two references, all right. The question is going to come: How do I make that like reference number two? I, I don't know. I think that's when I actually link it up to the computer. I'll have the opportunity to do that and rename the folder. But you can see, I've clearly, I've cleaned up all of, previously I had 9 to 10 pages of icons that I was flipping through. Now, the other thing you can do, again, like I said, double tap your home screen and start zipping along the bottom. And there's where all of your icons are at. This is another function of the new iOS 4 system for the iPad you can keep it in this mode and it also what it does is it displays um, my background picture is a place on Bluff Island um, it's called the Boutique and you can reach there only by boat and of course that's me right there I'm not very good at explaining all of this you touch the picture it'll bring it back All right. Double tap it, go all the way home with it, boom, now you're back to the light and to the music, alright, okay, so this is it, now I need to upload this now, alright, this is how to turn folders of your applications on your iPad, alright, bye bye, this has been me.